got a different kind of like a different video and it's going to be a short one a quick one i know i say the same thing on every single of my videos but anyway i just i was just playing some shadows of evil with my friends and we were getting the easter egg done and i was telling him how nobody in the community has figured out how to upgrade the um, apothecary weapon the wonder weapon and i was just thinking as i was playing uh you know what 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 hasn't really been looked at or what hasn't really been researched what hasn't i mean everybody has played as the big youtubers have actually paid very good attention as we all know the, the people who decrypt the game coding they've said that it is possible it is in the coding so that is a very good um you know notification letting us know that it is possible also we were able to upgrade the apothecary through a little bug a mistake by from Treyarch side that people were able to somehow trick the pack a punch machine into pack a punching your your apothecary and as I was playing and thinking about this and talking to my friend I I noticed this which might not mean a lot I'm pretty sure most of you guys have probably tried and do something with it but it it really doesn't do anything or leads to anything but I really do think it has to do something with the upgrade of the of the apothecary and what I'm talking about is this up here is that octopus or apothecary whatever you want to call that face head there's a couple of them down here at the rift there's some of them that look like they're relevant some of them that look that like they're not they really don't have any distinct look but you'll see why so first of all we see this one that is just here on the wall and it, it it's just here it has no i don't i don't see any reason why would they just put that there with low light is pretty well hidden and then we have it right here on this box the same skull again and you'll see why i think these are relevant this have to do something with the upgrade of the weapon and that is because I'll show you. Let me just show you first where they all are at. This is another one. There's another one right there. Another one right over here. Let me actually put some light. I don't remember. I'm not a huge uh, shoes mode a lighter. There you go. You can sort of see it right there. Um, and there is another one right here. So there is about. Uh, two four five six six of them six of them skulls oh there's yeah seven seven uh, i've looked around the whole rift i looked around the whole map i have not seen another one i for some reason had the impression there was one up here at the uh, nero's layer whatever you call this the first ritual room i'm gonna show you where i thought i might have seen one and it's down here on this table I feel like I have seen it, uh, but it's whatever. If it's not there, if it's, I'm probably going crazy. We know for sure this ones are different. I don't know. This one look different, and they have a purpose for being there, which is the ritual table, which lets you know, hey, this is interactable. You have to put your summoning key in your part over here, and you activate the first uh, part of the opening of the pack a punch. So now let me show you why I think that is relevant. I'm gonna end this here. And as you guys seen on my last videos, uh, I've been posting videos of me prestiging, what I unlock, um, what the emblems are, and I automatically uploaded a video very excited about when I hit level 100. Right now we're in 261, which I'm pretty proud of. And this is why I think that has to do something. So as we all know, we get whenever you're prestige master, you get many mul multiple emblems. And all of the emblems we've gotten so far, they're interactable stuff. And look what we got here. Something called Corrupted. And it's under, the name is Shadows. Uh, and then under it, I guess it's, its actual name is Corrupted. Here we got the Summoning Key, which is something that we can interact with in the map. We got the Teddy Bear, which is interactable in the map. We got this, which is interactive in the game. It's a reticle. And also symbols for the Easter Egg. Uh, on the summon, uh, what are the keepers? We got double points. That's whenever you hit 200. We got a fire cell. They're all interactable. You know, you can do something with them. And I've seen people that are higher levels than me, and all of the rest, the rest of all of uh, of the 
emblems they're all interactable they're, they they there's something you can do with them so this this i don't think they would just put this emblem right here for no reason this has to be interactable there's something you can do with it um yeah guys this this it's you know it's just a theory i might be wrong i may be right if you guys want to give it a try try whatever i never actually use the apothecary and i always let other people i'm not really interested in the weapon but i think it will it's pretty cool if we get to figure it out together as a community and uh yeah if you guys go watch my last video on youtube i was talking about a new cipher that i found out on the giant go check that out i believe those could be latitudes uh like coordinates to a place so yeah guys if you enjoyed the video please please don't forget to drop a thumbs up subscribe and uh comment whatever you think and if you disliked it well comment why you disliked it peace out guys see you guys on the next one